Lent on the way begins with the account of Jesus, the temptation in the wilderness. The first temptation was to turn stones into bread. Command the stone to turn into bread. A hungry Jesus is tempted to demonstrate his power by putting it to his own use and producing food to feed himself. The word bread can mean material things in general. The devil was telling Jesus to use his special powers to give the people all the material things they could possibly want. The second temptation would you set up a political kingdom to resort to power rather than love. Prostrate yourself in homage before me. Jesus is invited to give up his relationship with the Father for the sake of limitless power on earth. The third temptation consisted in doing something spectacular, throwing himself off the temple. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. Jesus is tempted to focus upon himself, to assert his own self-sufficiency. All three temptations come down to the same thing in the end. To put material things and his own glory first, and spiritual things and God second. The temptation of Jesus in the wilderness challenged us to face up to ourselves and to the deep down reality of sin in our lives and of our need for a change of heart. As long as we are alive, we will be faced with temptation for a universal human experience. In today's gospel, we hear Jesus take a time out, spend some time alone with God in prayer, fast from food, and examine his life. Then he came from the desert and gave alms in the greatest way. He gave of himself. We are called to follow his example. We are encouraged to commit ourselves to the practice of prayer, fasting, and alms given. Prayer can take many forms, like going to Mass frequently, reading the scripture daily, reciting the rosary, or being part of a prayer group. Fasting is one of the core disciplines of Christianity along with being part of the process for making amends for our sins. It is a traditional way of acknowledging one's dependence on God. If it does nothing else, it reminds us that while one-third of the world is suffering from overconsumption, the other two-thirds are dying from hunger and malnutrition. Arms given. Maybe we can give alms, given from ourselves like Jesus did. Alms given is more than giving money. It is about giving from ourselves. Maybe we can volunteer for our community or spend some more time with family or friends. Generally, listening to their concerns or fears, whatever it is this week. We can take a time out Spend some time with God, praying and examining our lives, finding something to fast from and somehow to give up ourselves.